G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're building a new hot rod. Yep, the new build. Before I start on the new build, got a little bit of sad news. Sad but necessary. I sold Doris yesterday. Five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> So yeah, it was inevitable, it was always going to happen, but it's been pushed a little bit forward because I've had absolutely nowhere to build anything. All the cars that I need under cover are taking up all the spots, and she was honestly next on the chopping block, and I needed room to make my next Model A, which is going to be on this chassis, which is a Ford chassis. It's a 1932 commercial chassis, and uh, we're going to stick a... 1930 Model A pickup on it. Let's just have a little moment and look back on Doris and uh, the good times, and then we'll start mocking this thing up and we'll get a bit of an idea what we're going to do. So let's imagine it's the mid to late 30s and I'm getting right into this car scene. So I'm going to build myself a period correct pre war Model A Ford Phaeton Salt or Dry Lake Racer exactly how I probably would have made it or how they made it back in the day. So right now, really, all I've got is a big mess of parts. Got a steering, stopping, and rolling chassis, and um, she's not far off running actually. So let's drag out these bits and pieces and uh, mock it together. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to go fully fended or cycle guards right now, but I'm definitely preferring to go fully fended. But because of the rise on the front of these rails, the fenders are going to have to be modified, which isn't a big deal. Um, we'll see what happens anyway, but I'm leaning towards going full fended on this one. I just like the look of the full fended 30s when it comes to a pickup anyway. Let's drag the bits out and uh, mock her up. First part to keep this thing legit, I've got myself a genuine, original 32 firewall. She's a bit Swiss cheese, but she's the real deal and we'll work with that. 
So if you're familiar with the channel, you'd know the old uh, coop that I had, the mongrel, or the half a mongrel. Um, she got pulled apart to make three cars. The first car was Doris. Used parts off that to make Doris. The second car was the new coupe. Which is this one. So that's the back half of the mongrel. All new at the front. And that's actually the mongrel chassis on that one at the moment. And there's the cow. And the doors are tucked under all that overgrown rubbish. Um, and they are the pieces for my 30 pickup. The old uh, mongrel has certainly spread itself around. That doesn't fit terrible. I did channel this, I think, three or four inches when I was putting it on the drag chassis when I was building the flat pack, which is a story for another day. Um, so all that's going to come out anyway because I've got to unpick this firewall, which will probably be one of the first jobs I do after the mock-up. But as far as width goes, it's beautiful. And the other part I've got my hands on. Steel 32 grill shell, keeping it legit. We're going to make the insert for that, so that'll be one of the episodes in the series, which I'm looking forward to do. I've done heaps of 34s, never done a 32. I've got a couple of ideas on how to do that one. Shouldn't be too hard. Bit of a balancing act. So there's one part I don't have yet, which I've been waiting for for about three years, is the back of this cab. Now, it has, for want of better words, been done. Um, it still needs a heck of a lot of work, but it's at my mate's place. I need to go and pick that up. He took delivery of it for me, and um, I can finally start putting this cab together. Now, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to raise the roof up to the standard height or keep it chopped. I'm inclined to actually unchop it, but we'll wait till we get this um, cab back, which has been built to standard height, and we'll have a look at it. We'll check the height out. We'll check out the proportions. I'm just thinking this might just be a little bit too chopped. From memory, what was it? It was, there's the, that's what I took out of it. So what's that about? Four inches I took out. Yeah, it was four inch chop. So I think I've still got all of the parts to unchop it, most of them anyway. Um, it'll just mean I have to get a new windscreen frame. I need your windscreen anyway because that one's cracked over there. But this one's done some miles, it's been a lot of events. They've been good old cars to me, the Model A's. But it's not looking wrong, it doesn't look wrong. It looks good. You've got to squint a little bit. Um, so, as far as other parts go, this thing is getting pulled apart because I'm going to use that engine. It's a, it's out of a, I think a 30, I think it was out of a 37 or a 38. Um, was supposed to be running okay, so we'll use that one. I've got a gearbox down in the corner over there. I'm going to use this front end. Um, I'm going to need to get a spring, I think, front spring, because that spring went in Doris. I'm not sure if these A-arms are going to work, but I might have some other ones because the V8 chassis, I think, is a bit longer where that is there. Um, I would have liked to have used that diff, but I might still be able to, but it's a, it is a four-cylinder diff, and the V8 one will be better, but the torque tube length is going to be wrong because the 32 has a longer wheelbase, so I'm going to have to build a new torque tube. Anyway, so I might as well get 
a, another diff. We'll see what I can find. I'll end up probably using those juice brakes that are on this. Um, that's juice brakes on the front of it. And what else I'm going to use off this? Running boards, running board brackets. Um, actually, I don't know. I think the running board brackets are different because you don't run a valance on a 32. The tub is uh, packed up in this shell up here. That's a two-door hard top shell out of a valance, which I'm going to move on soon. Um, but the tub's up in there, flat packed. And as far as wheels go, those 15 inch wires will go on the back and on the front I'm going to use the same not the wheels but the same wheels that I used on Doris which were 1935 17 inch wheels and I've got some tyres for a set of those good set of rims, good set of tyres and they'll go on the front so I should be wire wheel fully fended let's see, oh, I can't really mock up the fenders because they need modifying so I think first thing we've got to do is get this cab mounted and in place and to do that we need to install that 32 firewall so I think on the next episode we'll modify this and get the cab mounted so as far as a steering box goes I've got a an old F1 box which may work in there or if I can find a 32 34 um, steering box I can use one of those so around the back here with the dog poos and the snakes hide I have a stash the fenders and other bits and pieces. So there's my rear fenders, front fenders. There's a bonnet which probably won't fit. I don't know. And then this chassis is going to be cut down. It's quite long at the moment. It's going to be cut down to the 106 inches like the small pickups and the sedans, which I worked out the wheel. I think the wheels are about there. And then I'll leave on whatever I need to put on which I think was I measured up to about here for the tray so I'll leave the back of the chassis on and just get rid of that short little bit at the back and decide on the chop situation as well so we'll put it all together we'll stand back and have a look at it this chassis is on a set of coasters down here so she rolls uh, make it easy to move around for now and then once we do all that then we're gonna have to start pulling this thing apart unfortunately it's a roller at the moment but this thing's getting fully engineered with either a small block Chev, a Windsor, or I've got the 313 Poly over there, which is probably my preference. It's just getting a gearbox that's going to work for me for that one might be a bit hard. But yeah, so this one's going to be completely rebuilt, new chassis box. None of this stuff's going to be in it. So I'm going to pull this apart. When that goes, I might put this upstairs. We'll see how we go for room and get it out of the way. And then this thing can take up this whole garage and we can work on it without any restrictions on space which would be very very nice for a change and then we'll be able to start locking in where things need to be that's going to be the best thing and then i need to go down to my mate's place which is a couple of hours away and pick up this cab back for the back of this thing and uh, once the cab's all together we can start working out proportions for the chassis length where the tub's going to be on the back um, we can mount the motor in, make sure we've got enough clearance, which we should do, it's factory. Let me know what you reckon in the comments. Be good. My phone keeps dinging. Let me know what you reckon in the... Let me know what you reckon in the comments. It'd be good to get some feedback. So that'll do it for today, I think. For this video, anyway. I want to keep tinkering. But, nice little introduction to the new project and a goodbye to my good, lovely lady, Doris. And, um, the new owners are going to keep her as she is apparently they um they like the story about my grandmother and my granddad and all that kind of stuff so yeah we'll just have to uh get on with it and get over it and we'll see her out and about because she's not going to be too far away which is going to be nice but anyway that's it from me stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you on the next one cheers